weekend and deserve their places in this last eight. And having fun on stage before the serious business gets underway when George Noble calls game on. It's John Part, three times world champion, who saw off uh, Dick Van Dyke in round two, 6 2, and then beating Kim Hybrix, also by the same scoreline. And up against uh, Justin Pipe, who beat Richie Burnett in the first round, knocked out the number four seed Brendan Dolan in the second round, and then beat. Uh, Paul Nicholson this afternoon to set up this uh, quarter final and uh, the crowd will be cheering every one of Justin Pipe's darts in as they have been all weekend Rod yeah and Justin seems to like it he plays along with the crowd which is exactly what he's got to do if he didn't you know he'd get them on his back and it would turn the other way for him but uh, a joyous mood the crowd are in and certainly after that first game, that was fast and furious. And uh, the world number one, the world champion, Michael Van Gerwen, lost 6-5 to Yali Klassen, a former world champion himself. So it really has opened up this half now, Mike. You know, one of these two are going to play Yelly. And, uh, of course, all three of these that are left in this half seriously need <laughs> ranking points. And uh, there's plenty, you know, up for grabs here. Yes, £3,000 for making the quarterfinals, 4000 for the semis, the runner-up getting 8000 tonight, and the winner a cheque for £20,000, and the title of German Darts Champion 2014. John Parts winning the uh, UK Masters in Minehead last March. That uh, meant that he was guaranteed qualification for every event during the year and really did need that... Uh, win under his belt, uh, John Part. Well, when the 12 months is up, you know, the Pro Tour is a one-year rolling, where the world rankings is a two-year rolling. So when we get to March, the money, the 20,000 that he won last year, he will lose. But if he can get to the final or win it, obviously he's already defended that in March. So when he comes to that tournament in March, it's what we call up for none. So instead of moving out of the top 16 and having to qualify, he's going to stay in that top 16. So it's a mega tournament for John Park. Justin won the nearest the ball to throw first and get us underway then in this uh, second quarter final. The crowd's still getting their breath back from the first match of the evening session. Yella Klassen beating Michael Van Gerwen, 6-5. Van Gerwen will just rue some important missed doubles. Having got off to a flying start and led 2-0. Klassen clawed his way back in. He kind of fell asleep, Mike, didn't he, there in the middle part of the game. And, uh, I, you know, I don't know if he took it too easy. Once he went 2-0 up, you know, you did the quick fly throwers do think it's just going to happen and all of a sudden he was 4-2 down I know he did well to get it back to 5 all and have one dart at a double but um, by then the damage was done we'll be back in Germany for European Tour event number 3 over Easter weekend in Berlin And tickets are still available for that. And indeed, all of the European Tour events, all the details on the PDC Europe website, pdc-europe.tv. Yes, if you ever want to come and see any of the top players in the world performing, you've got to get these tickets early. You leave them late, I'm afraid you will miss out. I can assure you it's an entertaining day, afternoon or evening, whatever you're gonna come for. It's not only just a dark match, Mike, it's actually a you know a spectacle, it's like a party, isn't it? The, the <laughs> crowd come in and they thoroughly enjoy themselves. Yes, I mean when we arrive some hour and a half before the doors open this afternoon, they're already queuing down the road I here. Thought they were to wait. I thought they were waiting for us to be quite <laughs> honest. 
Yes, form an orderly queue for your signed photographs of Rod Harrington, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I say I do have a face for live streaming, though. <laughs> First played to Justin Pipe. Jay Pipe against Jay Part. And Pipe going 1 0 up. I've been told I've got a face for radio and a voice for CFAX. <laughs> yes, I think I'm along there with you. There's John Part. First 180 of the match for him. And both players, they're very deliberate in their throw. No one's going to rush them. As far as dart players are going to go, or the games today, this was, uh, I think this is probably going to be the slowest. Justin Pipe just edging the head-to-head -head between these two players. 3-2 over the five times they've met prior to Whoa. tonight. He's going to have to come back up. You mentioned it before, Mike, that you know when a player switches like that and then goes back up the 20s, you're right, why didn't he go for the 18s? Because he switched because he couldn't see the treble 20 in the first place. Not that I could ever tell John Part, Part how to play darts, but uh, it does seem strange. As Justin Pipe hits two in the treble 20 and just bounces the third one above. But John Part kicked off this leg with a 180 and finds himself a good few points behind. So 77 for the Canadian. Double top now for one apiece. 57. Well, an outside chance here for Justin Pipe to take a 2 0 lead. Looking at the treble 20. If it's the 20, well, it's either a 10 or a 6 now. It should be either perhaps a 2, a 10, or a 6. All in the same area, that leaves double 16. A long way off by Justin Pipe standards. So John Park gets a second chance, winning the leg. That's a mile away. Too far the other way to double five. into those 19s while well, the 17s both down the bottom good start to the leg pipe from Somerset looking to consolidate his position this year among the world's top 10 Typical example of how you can throw three 
what you think are brilliant darts and look great darts without hitting the treble. All three of those were touching that treble 20 wire. And that does happen sometimes and can cause a bit of frustration. And Justin Pipe's doing exactly the same. Six Yes, if you weren't with us this afternoon, a reminder of the third round matches that produced this quarter-final lineup. Michael Van Gerwen just narrowly seeing off Terry Jenkins 6-5. Yella Klassen beating Wes Newton 6-4. John Part beating Kim Hybrick 6-2. Justin Pipe here going for another ton 80 and does so. Pipe beating Nicholson. 6-4 this afternoon. Raymond Van Barneveld uh, seeing off Adrian Lewis 6-2. And that was a, a little bit of a surprise, that scoreline. Ronnie Baxter beating Mervyn King 6-5. Robert Thornton going down 6-3 to Ian White. And Gary Anderson 6-4 winner over Wayne Jones. So double 15 then for Pipe. Uh, which way will he go to split this? It was unusual that he, he left the 30. I mean, the 180, the crowd love it and everything, but uh, third dart should have been at the bullseye or for the treble 18. He left himself a bit of a bogey. And double on the 15, not many people like it. I know a double's a double. But Park was so far behind, it shouldn't make a lot of difference. Double four now for a 2-1 lead. Double four, it is. So neck and neck and all the legs going so far with the throw. And we see, there's a shot of it there, as uh, John Park walks up and down the hockey, you may see something flapping beside his trousers. That's a, a towel that he keeps uh, on him to uh, keep his hands dry, which a lot of players just leave their towel over on the table with the drinks, but Park just likes to carry it around with him to give his hands a wipe before he takes the next throw. Yes, it's all individual. A lot of people, like Andy Hamilton, give their fingers a good lick to lick the sweat off and then wipe it on their trousers. And I can assure you that's what I used to do. And uh, by wiping it on the trousers, a little bit of the acid in your saliva takes the, takes the colour out of your trousers, believe it or not. So certainly with John Park, it saves him replacing his trousers too often. And likewise, I wonder what uh, Justin Pipe's pockets are like with the uh, little bit of wax he keeps in. You'll see him uh, just put his hand in his pocket pretty much every time he walks away from the board. Phil Taylor used to do that, and I remember Peter Alice on, uh, on the golf mentioning Phil Taylor, and he wanted to know, he asked on TV, I want to know what's in Phil Taylor's pocket as he walks back. Well, he did get messaged or emailed what the situation was, and... Uh, it's all about having a good grip on your dart. You can see Justin Pipe, it's a very light grip he's got on the dart. There we have it, that's a, look at that, that's a great position, great camera position from our camera guys. Um, it just shows you how lightly he grips the dart. So if there's any sweat on there, you're gonna get you know, like what we call an aquaplane. So he needs that wax, so that light grip is as firm as it can be. So against the throw to stretch his lead here, Pipe. Wanted a 1-2-6 out shot. That's a great way to start it. Wanting the bullseye. 
Well, it'll be interesting here, Mike, to see what way John Park goes. A lot of people will go to six for double 16, but John Park, I would imagine he'll go straight for it. And he does and puts the first one low. That's not a bad guide for John Park. And that's exactly why. It's not so much the way the barrel's sitting in the, in the board. It's the way the fins are of the flight. The V was absolutely perfect. And a lot of the times, he, he, well, he would have been just aiming to lay the dart on that V, knowing that it was just funneled down there and in the straight in the double. And that's exactly what happened. Yes, must mention uh, all the guys from Darts in Motion who are providing the great camera work and the pictures you're seeing back at home via the official PDC YouTube channel. Doing sterling stuff again this weekend for us. Well, let's put your bonus up. And look at the difference in averages. Justin Pipe, oh, just over the 93, and John Park down at 94 and a half. But we're at two legs all, and you can see a big difference in the averages sometimes. All that means is, saying John Park's position on the legs that Justin Pipe has won, John Park has not played too well. So the averages sometimes don't tell the true story. The next quarterfinal is between Raymond Van Barneveld and Ronnie Baxter. Two players have been playing really well this weekend. Ronnie Baxter producing some vintage darts. And Barney coming through the qualifying rounds on Thursday night. Played two matches Thursday night and then uh, a first round match Friday. And then taking on the seeds on Saturday and finding his way through to the quarter final. As Park bangs in another ton 80. That will soon push his average up over the 84. And it's given him a magnificent chance here to break the throw of Justin Pipe. Well, he's going to get six starts now from 117 to break the throw. Crucial six starts for John Park. Well, he's going to perhaps do it in three. 180, 117 out for John Park for a 3-2 lead. Brilliant six starts from the big Canadian, the three times world champion. And absolutely why he has been a world champion with those six darts. Yeah, showing some real class in that leg against the throw to go ahead in this game for the first time. can't understand why John didn't switch there. He's a big tall man, about six foot three. And from where he was standing, the flights must have covered up the whole of that treble 20. Should have done what Justin Pipe is, switching to the 19s. 96. Sure there could be a few sore heads around this part of northern Germany tomorrow morning. If people are... Uh, Having to get up for work. I'm sure a lot of them will uh, go home after the darts and maybe watch the Super Bowl from America through the night if they really have got the stamina and have paced themselves here through the day well. Part through first in this leg. Magnificent previous leg. Not done anything in this leg, but needs now big scores to hold on to his throat. We keep saying it, Mike, that you know you work so hard to, to break the throw of your opponent, and like John Part has here, and then just give it back to him. But it really is frustrating. That's 
the second time in three legs that Justin Pipe has hit 180 to leave 30. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't often see that, uh, the double 15 being left. Can he hit it this time? Yes, he can, first time. To bring us back to three apiece and immediately break back. Well, the opening quarter final went all the way to 11, an 11th and deciding leg. Yella Klassen beating the number one seed, Michael Van Gerwen. And uh, we have all the hallmarks of another match that's going to go the distance here. Between part and pipe. Best of visits from Justin. So a chance here for John Parton. You know, he played absolutely brilliant in the fifth leg to break Justin Pipe, but since then, he hasn't stuck, you know, two big scores together and making it very easy for Pipe to square it up and to go on here and uh, take the lead. Yes, yeah, so down to a 1 6 1 out shot with uh, Hart still well behind, but that uh, has taken a big dent out of that score. Needed the treble 20 to start off the sequence for 1 6 1. But he will. Be back with Part still unable to finish, so 101 he will need. Well, at least six starts to take a 4 3 lead for Justin Pipe. Doesn't need to do anything to flash with this. Just set it up, will do him, give him three clear darts and a double. Well, now he needs double 12 so he can clean it up in three. The steely eyes of Justin Pipe. And again, it's a sort of double where when you miss, you want to put on the outside of the double 12. I know we've got Justin Pipe down at 16 when he comes back. He requires 12, double six. And uh, this first start, if it ain't going to be in, it's got to be on the outside. He doesn't want to see it go in the in the six. Well, double twelve, he wants. Double six, he wants. Now double three down the bottom of the board. Oh, the hits one of the worst doubles on the dartboard. It takes a four legs to three lead. So that leg going with throw, and uh, we saw Park hit a 180 and check out on 117 to take a 3-2 lead, but since then just gone a little bit off the boil and Pipes won the last two legs. Well, it's the reason, Mike, why, why John, you know, he's struggling in the rankings now. And every other player that slipped off the rankings and some, some of us don't come back. It's that consistency leg on leg. You know, we can all throw a 12 darter, but we can't throw enough of them, or 15 darters. And, and that's where John is a little bit at the moment. But with his eyesight, he feels that it's coming back. And as long as he stays positive, there's a good possibility that he will get it back. One 
Yellow Klassen awaiting the winner of this game, which will be the first semi-final of the evening once the quarter-finals have been completed. So it is a big task for John Park to take this out, but he needs a treble. Hits the treble. Well, he's just got to pray that Justin Pipe doesn't hit the bullseye with his third dart. It might even be double five with that third dart. I'm at the treble 20s. Well, that's not really a good guide for Justin Pipe. He needed to have the dart below the treble. And that's why you can see it weren't really a good enough first start, so Park comes back to level it up. So it'll either, either be three, four, uh, double top then. Double top it is. Double ten for four, four. So the outer ball, yes. Pipe then wants tops to go 5-3 ahead and to go within one leg of a place in the semi-final. Justin Pipe. And he has the throw in this leg. So Pipe could get the job done here. If he holds his throw in this ninth leg. Yes, those two doubles missed by John Park. Big darts and probably have cost John Park a place in the semi-finals later on. Well, I've said all along, you know, every time we see John Park play, he doesn't very often let the chances go wasted, but uh, certainly did then. And now, got to win the last three legs and two of those legs Justin Pipe will throw first well Pipe reached six quarterfinals in 2013 as he made his way towards the top ten Already won five ranking titles in the PDCs. He's emerged over the last uh, couple of years on the big TV tournaments. And just one leg away here from meeting Jelle Klassen in the semi-final of the German Darts Championship, the first European Tour event of 2014. That'll be like the hare and the tortoise, won't it? <laughs> well, I was going to say, uh, can, a contrast in styles, I think it's uh, fair to say. If Klassen does end up meeting this man, Justin Pipe, which at the moment you would say is the more likely semi-final opponent to be taking on the Dutchman later. These three darts could put John right back in it. Well, he wanted 130 in the previous leg, Justin, and the first dart went really high. He said then, if he's going to miss the treble, he wants it just on the bottom wire. Well, he's put it straight in, so another treble 20 will leave double five. The 20, now the bullseye for a semi-final place against Yelly Klassen. And the bullseye, it is! What a great check out from Justin Pipe. He beats John Park. Six legs to three. He will meet Yelly Klassen in the semi-finals a little bit later. Kellerman up here. This will be an unbelievable match. Raymond Van Barneveld takes on Ronnie Baxter. 
Well, that's coming along very shortly.